quick little rant here this morning as I walk out to open up the gate. Um, some things I hate about the anti-Semitic movement. Um, made a video the other day about the, the thing of Roman Catholics. I mentioned the thing of Roman Catholics having dual allegiance. One to the Vatican, one to America. And people said, why didn't you bring up the thing of the Jews? You know, they do the same thing. And you're right, they do. They, uh, the Jews that are in governmental positions, they, you know, fly Israeli flags and they uh, vote in ways that benefit Israel and not the American people. And you're absolutely right about that. Um, quite frankly, neither group has any right to be here in America. Uh, Roman Catholics should have never been allowed in. And uh, Jews, I don't believe, should have been here either. Although you can make the argument for them as a Bible-believing Christian, I can say that Jews, you know, they didn't have a country to go to until 1948. And, um, but the thing that irritates me I am perfectly fine with people judging the sins of the nation of Israel. That is scriptural, 100%. Um, the Jews are in very serious trouble right now. There's the time of Jacob's trouble. They've rejected Jesus Christ as their Messiah. Jesus Christ is God. There is no Trinity. No Trinity. You can't see the whole shirt because I have it tucked in, but uh, it says no Trinity, no, K-N-O-W, Jesus. If you believe in the Trinity, then you don't really understand Jesus Christ. The Trinity is a foreign concept to Scripture um, without going into a big, huge thing on that, big rant on that. It's the Godhead. Okay, well, Godhead's the same as Trinity. No, it's not. If you say that, then you don't understand the Trinity Godhead issue. And you really need to study more. Um, but getting back to the subject here, uh, I am, like I was saying, it's one thing to say, okay, the Jewish people, they're involved in usury, they're involved in banking, they're involved in all kinds of wicked stuff. That's fine. Um, you know, the Jews are getting into the Kabbalah and, un and all this other witchcraft type of stuff. And Okay, yes, they are. That's very true. And they will pay for that. They will be punished for that. They have rejected Jesus Christ. They make fun of Jesus Christ. They're passing laws and trying to do things and trying to confuse Christians into becoming a Noahide. Video is coming out on that before very long. I'm doing a lot of research on it right now. Thank you to everybody out there that told me about it. It wasn't even on my radar. I didn't understand it. You know, oh, you're a preacher and you don't know, but uh, okay, preachers are still men. I'm a mortal man. I don't understand every single thing out there. Uh, that's why I appreciate my viewers letting me know about things. Okay, uh, don't get so high and mighty that you think that uh, your knowledge is just godlike or something and you know everything. You don't. None of us do. But where I get irritated is when I see people that are anti Semitic, that, um, and I say anti Semitic, meaning not just that you're judging the Jews' sins. No, you actually hate the Jewish people. And they'll say things like, there are no real Jews, they're all just Ashkenazi. Um, What's the other thing that they say? Um, I can't think of some of the other terms they come up with, but they're just mingled Jews and therefore they're not Jews and whatever. Well, there's, those exist. I understand that, um, certainly. But to say that there are no Jews left, that they're all, you know, there are no real Jews or something. Well, then you're saying that the Bible prophecy is not true because the Bible says that a remnant would be saved. So there's a remnant of the Jewish people that are real. And I know of Jews that as soon as Israel became a nation, they're saying, I need to get there. I need to go over there. I was born here in New York or I was, I was born in America someplace or I'm in Germany or I'm wherever. Israel's a nation. Oh, I have to get over there. And they get over there and they say, I'm staying here in, in Israel. Okay. Um, I believe that those are real Jews and that God's going to be dealing with those people in the future. Even those that, you know, currently reject Jesus Christ. The Lord's going to make that... Uh, apparent to them that Jesus is actually their Messiah and that Jesus is God. That's the whole purpose for the book of Revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ. It's the full title of it. The church doesn't need to have Jesus revealed to it. The Jews do. Okay. But what irritates me about the anti-Semitic movement, first and foremost, they'll deny that the Jews even exist. The people over there, they're not really Jews. Eh, you know, whatever. You can't make that as an total complete blanket statement. All right. <clears throat> well, the church has replaced Israel. That's another one, replacement theology. One of the most satanic and stupid teachings that there is. 
right? Uh, the church has not replaced Israel. And they'll say, well, R Romans chapter 2, verse 28 through 29, yeah, and then keep reading into chapter 3 where it says, what advantage then hath the Jew, much every way chiefly, and, and it goes on to talk about physical Jews. Read Romans chapter 11. It explains the whole thing. The church has not replaced Israel. That's nonsense. We have a spirit of adoption. We've come in. We're going to be there to receive inherit promises that were given to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and his descendants. So there is a spiritual blessing there for the church if you're a Gentile like I am. All right. But that doesn't mean we've replaced the Jews. Don't be an idiot. All right. But the big thing that really irritates me about the whole anti-Semitic movement is all of a sudden everything is the Jews' fault. Everything out there. It's all the Jews, the Jews, the Jews. You know, if there's evil in the city, it has to be a Jew behind it. And they go into this Jew hate stuff and whatever, which is just nutty. And, and all of a sudden, you know, um, the, I'm trying to think of how to say this, the big thing then that because everything's the Jews fault, then the Jews, you know, Israel is now mystery Babylon. And all of a sudden they get real quiet about the Roman Catholic church. When the Roman Catholic church has murdered far more Christians than any Jew has ever even thought of, you know, yes, the Jews have killed Christians different times, um, <clears throat> the Jews working with Rome killed the Lord of glory, killed Jesus Christ. Um, but it wasn't completely, uh, oh, it was just all the Jews. Well, the Bible says that, you know, who both killed the Lord Jesus? Yes, they killed him because of their words, their speech. But no Jew ever swung a hammer. Okay, it was the Romans. It was Roman crucifixion. Don't forget that. The fifth kingdom is iron, the Romans, and miry clay, the Jews. You understand? Uh, some of you don't. Um, and so, should I have said something about the, you know, the Roman Catholics, the Papists, that are in positions of power in Congress and that they have dual allegiance? Um, and then I didn't say anything about the Jews. You know, I should have said something about the Jews. Yeah, I should have said something about the Jews. Uh, forgive me for that wrong. I was not trying to purposefully cover up for the Jews because they are, a lot of them are very much involved in wickedness. But uh, you get another problem. If you want to teach that Israel slash Jerusalem is mystery Babylon, which it is not. Okay, um, Jerusalem does not reign over the kings of the earth. The Vatican does. And, um, but here's the problem. You say, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. It's Israel and Jerusalem, that's mystery Babylon. Okay, then God makes a full end of Jerusalem. Uh, no, he makes a full end of the Vatican. You see, God has future plans for the Jewish people. It's the whole millennial kingdom. Jesus is going to rule and reign from Jerusalem. He doesn't rule and reign from the Vatican. Think, people. Okay, the two groups that are bad right now, the Romans, the iron, and the miry clay, the Jews. Miry clay being a reference to them being mingled so you see the prophecies are there. You just have to understand these prophecies. Yes, it's fine to say to call out the sins of the Jewish people, but it is not okay when you begin to make everything about them and you just kind of forget to mention the Roman Catholic system. And why is it that uh, all the Supreme Court justices right now are connected in some way to the Roman Catholic Church? Either hardcore Catholics or um, Jesuit trained or they've been given awards by the Jesuits, which I've proved in a video. You can look it up. Why is that? Hmm. Interesting little thing there. Oh, well, because the Jews control the Catholic Church. That's my favorite one. <laughs> Talk about ridiculous. The Jews control the Catholic Church. Please. So stupid. But um, <clears throat> I wish I'd gotten a picture of this. Uh, we actually had down in the town of Patton where our office is at, we had the, or not we, because we didn't really care about it, but they had the um, Patton Pioneer Days. And they'll do, you know, little events and things, and they have um, community get-together stuff and whatever. And uh, we just work. You know, we don't really care much about that. But they had the parade going down Main Street, which goes right past our office. And uh, so my son... 
he went over and he was sitting there watching this parade and things are throwing candy out and he's going oh, that's disgusting <laughs> i wouldn't eat that stuff it's garbage high fructose corn syrup and coal tar dyes and lots of sugar and whatever else no thank you he's not a candy eater and so but he's sitting there watching this whole thing and all of a sudden he yells for me oh, father you have to come see this went out and there's a catholic church there's a catholic church in the town and these catholics are walking down the street and they're literally flying the vatican flag walking down the street flying this vatican flag and some other roman catholic flag i didn't know what it was no american flag hmm i don't know if i can find any pictures of it because unfortunately i, I didn't have a camera at the time this camera and my other camera were in another room and it, by, thought by the time i run and grab them they're going to be gone but uh, yeah flying a vatican flag i take issue to that you know there was a debate among the founding fathers and i mean not the freemasonic ones or whatever i'm i mean they were there as founding fathers i get it but uh some of the early christians that were here in america helping to form what this nation was and the debate was um should we if we're going to say freedom of religion does that include roman catholics well uh, they said, you know, how can we not include Roman Catholics? Well, because we're saying freedom of religion. So let's be fair about this. We believe in liberty of conscience, which was a big thing at the time. Oliver Cromwell was very much into liberty of conscience. He also allowed Roman Catholics to be in his system there. Um, and it was just, okay, you can be a Catholic, but you just can't hold political office, is what they said. Well, the problem with that, which the Christian nativists tried to stand against, is the Vatican said, okay, uh, or the Catholics, I should say, under the control of the Vatican, they said, well, we can't hold political office, but we can be here. What if we can get majority opinion? Hmm. And that's exactly what they did. We can't hold political office? Okay, then we'll just load the country with Roman Catholics. Ellis Island, let's just get the Catholics just coming in non-stop and we'll fill this country up with roman catholics until we can get majority opinion and we can drive the white anglo-saxon protestant movement out of politics and that's exactly what they did exactly what they've done oh donald trump's a protestant <laughs> yeah uh-huh sure his wife's a open roman catholic and he goes to the um timothy president timothy dolan if you want to know who the president of this country is Tim uh, cardinal timothy dolan up there in the Archdiocese of New York. That's the real capital of America. And he's the real president of this country. It's not Joe Biden or any of the others. So whoever is put in as you know, president, it's just a, a uh, acting position. Um, and I mean that isn't they are acting president, but also they are acting as a president. But uh, that's who really pulls the strings. We're doing the Roman Catholic Church's bidding right now. And it looks like it's the Jews as well because you have the fifth kingdom. Please remember that. Don't just attack the Jews and leave out the Roman Catholics. That's the whole point of this video. Uh, don't fall for that stuff. Okay. But um, and there's so many points I could make about this. But uh, the uh, Al Smith dinner. You watch. Whoever's going to be running, they, they will have to attend the Al Smith dinner. Even during the, uh, you know pandemic um even during that they still um they oh we can't do the normal al smith dinner thing but we're just going to give speeches and whatever else and you know so we can social distance and all this other stuff they still did it in other words you still have to show that you're going to submit to the roman catholic church oh well the jew thing is there too oh, the jews yes the fifth kingdom all right so um if you're newly saved Please don't fall for this stuff. Um, again, my wife was uh, doing some more research and she kept coming into this thing of, you know, warning about Zionism and all this other stuff. They go, oh, Zionism, the danger of Zionism. Uh, is there a danger to Zionism? Well, uh, in some ways, yes. Um, but the Jews have a right to be back in the land. Well, but it was the Rothschilds that founded it. Does God say how he's going to bring them back? He brings them back in unbelief. According to Ezekiel chapter 36. Again, I've done studies on that. They don't come back as Christians. right? They come back in unbelief. That's why God pours out his wrath on them for seven years. 
understand. All right. Yes, the Jews have a right to their land. There's a purpose for them being there. A remnant is going to be saved. The vast majority get wiped out in the time of Jacob's trouble. God destroys the Roman Catholic system and he destroys the current system in Israel. And only a few Jews get saved out of that time. That's what the future is. Please do not get sidetracked from that. But uh, getting back to what I was saying here, moving forward with what America should return to, America needs to become a third world country. America needs to be so destroyed by war and fighting and everything else that this becomes a third world country. And I'd love to see both groups, the Catholics, the Papists, and the Jews, I'd like to see both leave. I say Jews because they're not all Israel, which are of Israel. All right, understand that's another New Testament teaching. Just because they say that they're Jewish doesn't mean that they're Jewish. <laughs> it's a complicated thing. But um, both groups should leave, quite frankly. I think that uh, America should go back to the indigenous people and um, the Japhetic people that came here originally and settled things, quite frankly. So, but that will be it. Just wanted to make a video on this real quickly just to kind of correct this whole thing. Interesting little bug here on the plant. But hopefully it didn't bug anybody. Or hey, you know, the videos that people are it's being listened in on that's it's bugged. <laughs> uh, that's something that you don't really hear much of anymore if you're kind of younger. You might not even understand what that meant, but back years ago they would put recording devices in a room and they would say it's bugged. Now they have so much more technology stuff they can do all kinds of things. But um so I apologize for um, not bringing the whole uh, papal Uden thing into it as well. Um, the Jews that serve the Pope, the miry clay of Scripture. Um, I should have said that. Uh, I didn't say that in my video. Um, yes, they, they are a problem as well. Yes, they do do marches and they fly their you know foreign flag as well, which is treason to America. Um, and I'll just say this to end, and that is that national sovereignty is something that God wants. God does not want globalism. Um, read back through uh, Genesis chapter 9 up through chapter 11, and you can see what God thinks of uh, globalism and the people becoming one and all having one speech. Um, God doesn't want that. He separated people at the Tower of Babel when they were building Babel, and um, he still wants people to be separate separate nations that's what god wants distinction diversity so that is going to be it for this video need to get to the office and get some work done today so we'll see you in upcoming videos thank you to everybody out there for your support and for your prayers i always appreciate that I want to make that very plain and for the things people send to us and uh really appreciate everything that gets sent to us as well so that will be it.